So uh, obviously, like the British Open is very special to to anyone, to any squash player. But uh, for me, actually, from from the very first British Open I, I played in, um, I just felt it was one of my favorites before even winning it. Like uh, um, being on this stage and playing in front of the crowd there and. Uh, knowing that I'm playing the biggest event of the year was something always huge for me and uh, cherry on top winning it for sure and I mean also when I reached the final back in 2016 I remember it was one of the best weeks of my career so far uh, so yeah um, last year definitely I mean winning the British Open has always been the highlight of my career so far it's definitely tough like uh, you know there is an extra pressure coming with it but uh, but as I'm, I just said, I, I really enjoy playing there and uh, I really find my range, I really find myself. Uh, there are some places like, you, you don't know, it's, it, it just clicks. So uh, British Open is one of these places. So I'm glad it's back this year and I'll be able to play it for sure. Uh, like a few months is, uh, before I, I'd, I'd, read, uh, I'd won my, uh, my British Junior Open under 19 in Jan and then it was I think in March when I reached the final and I was like living a fairy tale and it had everything like I qualified for the World Tour finals for the first time during this tournament. Uh, I was just 18 when I reached the final and I had the possibility of being a first time like winning the junior and the senior edition but yeah I lost it at the end but I mean it was very very special and uh, I think that's when I realized that I might become one of the like top players maybe <laughs> actually this year is is different for everyone but for us like the calendar is completely different usually you end up the season with the world tour finals and then you get like a break or something now we're having like two of the biggest events of the year back to back <laughs> so it's 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 slightly challenging and uh, i mean we egyptians we, we have to stay here in the us as well so uh, we won't be like in our comfort zone, but I'm really excited to see how we're going to deal with it. And uh, it's always challenging when you're on tour and you have to face this kind of uh, uh, adaptation and see how you can work with it. So uh, I'm just happy to be able to play tournaments actually again. And uh, I can't really like uh, say anything about having them back to back. It's, it's actually good to have them l this way. and. Uh, and be able to play them. I mean, uh, like the first tournament we had was Manchester when we came back, but I, I didn't play the tournament. But, but honestly, seeing it on TV without crowd was really sad. <laughs> and I just mentioned like one of the main reasons why I love playing the British Open is the crowd. It's unbelievable. And from the very first round, it's like it's full. Everyone is watching, even if you're playing at noon. Uh, I don't know what's the secret behind this. We have the same slightly in Egypt, but our matches are in the evening. I mean, even in the morning in the UK, you can find a lot of people watching. Uh, and it makes me very excited to be on court, actually. So, uh, yeah, definitely having the crowd uh, will make it very special. <laughs> Like I'm very lucky to keep the video actually like every time I, I feel demotivated a little bit I just watch this match because and uh, really and I watch the video like at the end like the winning for it uh, I just feel like it's all about this like all the hard work that you, you put all the struggle everything it's just about these few seconds at the end and yeah I really got emotional because I had some tough times before and I struggled a lot and uh, I was like doubting, I wasn't really sure if I was doing the right things or not. But like, as you mentioned, like my mom was always there, like obviously I had my team behind me, but my mom is like the biggest supporter that I ever had. So having her there watching as well and supporting me for the whole week was, was very special. And um, yeah, I'm just lucky that I will keep this moment forever. <laughs> the the main reason why I played squash was my dad because he played as LB and uh, he loved. I I just wanted to to be with him on court. <laughs> I just wanted to go <laughs> to the courts with him. <laughs> so that was the excuse. Like I want to play squash. And actually, I was quite old compared to Egyptians. Like I was like eight and a half or nine. So. Eight and a half or nine in Egypt, you win tournaments. <laughs> You're not like <laughs> just starting to play. 
uh, but then he, he's the one who like who was like sticking with me around for national tournaments uh, uh, but then starting from 13 14 I think my mom like took her part and uh, she, she was the one who was traveling more because he had the job and he couldn't like miss all the, the things so uh, yeah, both of them like they just like have alternating roles. Like right now, my dad is here at the tournament. <laughs> so yeah, um, they they have been incredible supporters, and uh, even to now, like I still need their support. Uh, I can't do it by myself. Like, uh, and they know this very well, and uh, I'm just grateful for that. <laughs>